My name is Oliver Joel Nathaniel Rosser. <laughs> And uh, I cannot make a video introduction to save my life. I've come too far, I'm not going to stop now. In this video, I'm going to show you as quickly and simply as possible how you can save money quickly and simply. <laughs> and also in kind of a fun way, um, if you like pushing buttons, by using your Monzo Pots and the app If This Then That. So if you didn't know, the app If This Then That, I've got to say it that way because it's quite tricky to say If This Then That and have you know what it means. The app If This Then That is an app that allows other apps to work in ways that they may not be programmed to work as uh, natively. For instance, you could set it so that every day at a certain time you send yourself an email saying something motivational like, keep going, you're doing a great job. <laughs> Make a goddamn video because uh, you've got ideas. And you can use different apps to integrate with other apps in different ways. And I figured out a way to make saving into your Monzo Pots a lot easier um, by using the If This Then That widget in the Apple iPhone control center swipe right bar. Here's what you need to do. I'm gonna open my Monzo app and go to accounts. And here you can see that I've got two pots set up at the moment. I've got Marseille, which is my current holiday savings which I'm saving the change into. And underneath I've got Apple Watch 4 because I would like to replace this at some point in the future. Um, there's currently nothing going into Apple Watch 4, but I'm gonna go into If This Then That and then set up a button in the widgets of the iPhone to just save a little bit of money whenever I want into my Apple Watch 4 uh, pot. If I open up If This Then That, this little blue, red and black icon on the bottom left, and on the bottom right, if I click My Applets, uh, Pay for Massage, Save for Massage, one pound for Marseille. So I've already got um, a button set up in the widgets to save a pound for my holiday whenever I want to. But I'm gonna go through the process now of setting up a brand new applet in order to save, say, one pound every time I push the button into my Apple Watch 4 pot. So in the top right hand corner, you push the plus button. And then you get a list of these options that you can modify. So if this, and if you tap the blue this, it lets you search for a trigger service. So what we want to do is this red one in the middle here, button widget. And then you get the option of button press. Tap that. And you've set up that little part of this applet. Then you get to choose the that portion of the equation. Tap the blue that. And what I want to do is search for Monzo. And it says here you've got two options at the bottom, move money out of a pot or move money into a pot. We want to select move money into a pot. And then here it gives you options of which pot you want to move money into, how much money you want to move into that pot every time you push that button. So I'm going to click this little uh, tab down and select Apple Watch 4. And the amount I want to move into that pot every time I push the button is £1. It says here the amount in GBP, I live in Great Britain, so obviously it's pounds, to move, for examples, 5 for £5 pounds or 0 0.33 for 33 pence. Don't include the currency symbol, you just need to type in the full digit of the amount you want. So I want one pound, I'm just typing one. Create action. And that's pretty much set up. You can edit the title, so I'm going to go ahead and do that and say save one pound for Apple Watch 4. Down here at the bottom you get the option to receive a notification every time the applet runs. I'm going to select yes, I do want that to happen because every time I push it I get a notification on my current Apple Watch to tell me that I've, uh, I've pressed that button and that's happened. Uh, click finish at the bottom. There we go. This applet requires a widget to run. You can configure your widgets in the settings. I've already done this, so I'm not going to go through that. Um, if you decide to do this method of saving, it will take you through that process when you do it. And that's all done. That's essentially it. So coming back out of If This Then That, on my main uh, iPhone homepage, if I swipe right, you can see at the top I've got two If This Then That options. One is to save one pound for Marseille. One is to save one pound for my Apple Watch. If I click the widget that says save one pound for Apple Watch, that's it, job done. I should get a notification now saying, oh, there it is. I don't know if you can see that. Applet run, save one pound for Apple Watch. Just to make sure that has actually worked, I'm gonna go back into my Monzo account, select accounts. 
and there you have it I've got one pound in my Apple watch for it's a simple way of saving money as and when you've got it and when you want to uh, and it is quite fun just tapping buttons because it feels like you're doing something active towards your savings but it's just quick it's easy it's a handy little thing. One thing I will mention is that in order to use If This Then That with your Monzo account, you do have to grant If This Then That permissions um, to interact with your Monzo account, obviously. Don't do it if you don't feel comfortable with letting third-party apps use your Monzo account information. I do feel comfortable. Uh, I know that I haven't got any amount of money in there that could be misused. I only put in what I'm able to spend, so it's not like I'm giving someone access to all my savings or anything like that please consider liking and subscribing this channel is growing i'm very happy to see it i'm gaining subscribers by the month um i just appreciate you watching so uh thank you very much have a great night uh see you soon <laughs>